with the golf tournament. Uh, last year we did Miracle Field, and my admin decided they wanted to uh, hold another, so we're doing it for the uh, Alabama Sheriff Youth Branches this year. Um, I would like to give a special thanks to our Titanium sponsors, which is DSI and Dopin, uh, the Warner Ramsey's family, Mid-South Bank, and Love to Run. Uh, also, our Holy One sponsor will be ALK2 Powerboat, located on South Oaks. Thank you all, Michelle, for helping us out in this tournament. But I really want to give a special thanks to my admin, uh, Captain Tony Turner, Captain David Asbill, Captain James Ivey, my secretary, Casey, and our little personnel lady, uh, Kim Wilson. They've been behind it. They put, they've worked hard getting all this together, and I think it's come together really well. And like I said, I want to thank y'all once again for helping us continue this tournament. Uh, right now, I'm going to let Mike Smith with the director of the Alabama Youth Branches, and uh, he'll give you a little background on our ranches. Mike? Thank you so much, Sheriff. I appreciate you. I'm Michael Smith. I have the fortunate opportunity to serve in right now here in Alabama, 64 foster children throughout the state. Um, it's, it's a blessing. But as I come into Dothan, I gotta tell y'all some things. I've been here before and I never knew this until I started doing some research, but a lot of Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranch's roots right here in Dothan, Alabama. How many of you remember the name A.B. Clark being sheriff? Ms. Ray, uh, you all remember A.B.? A.B. was very instrumental and starting the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranches in order to give young people here in the state of Alabama an opportunity to build and grow into successful men and women. I was so thrilled when I got the call from Tony and he said, you're not gonna believe this, but Alan Clark with DSI was our very first titanium sponsor and we want to remember his dad today because without A.B. Clark, these ranches would not be where they are today. And I'll give you some more about the ranches here in just a second, and we'll move on. But first, I'd like to call Alan up here maybe and say a few words. We appreciate you and the legacy of your family. When the sheriff of Mike called me or talked to me years ago, like they said, uh, the boy the girl, we called the boy the girl ranches back then, but it was a big deal. Uh, it's a great program for kids that are abandoned and left homeless and that's just a great thing and we're dsi is proud to be a sponsor for this event i hope we can keep, keep it up thank y'all very much you, you're good we love you so quick about the ranches i said we have 64 foster children um we raise our kids in a christian environment they attend church every sunday every morning they get up have devotion and say the pledge of allegiance i tell everybody here at the ranches we believe in god and our country and that's not going to change. I will tell you, we've had the fortunate opportunity over the past 12 months, we baptized 26 young people to give their life to God. And if you don't, thank you. If you don't think that's, that's a game changer, uh, it, it's, it's amazing. So um, I will tell you, we're looking at maybe trying to do something down here in Dothan uh, to try to help DHR out a bit more with their foster children and and the sheriff is very involved in that. We have the county commissioners involved in that. So uh, stand by for some good news, maybe down the road, that we're going to make something happen here in uh, Houston County so that we can help the young people in Alabama. One thing I'll tell you about what you're doing today, we're an Alabama charity helping Alabama children. 100% of the money stays right here in Alabama. Uh, we're, we're so excited that we have the opportunity to have these 64 young people call us home. We're 501c3. I will tell you, we're getting ready. If we're getting ready to come down here in Dothan, we're gonna need some folks to work and be house parents. Or if you got anybody you know now that would like to be a house parent and come live on a ranch, our ranches are real ranches, by the way. We have horses and cows and goats and chickens and all kinds of things that our young people get a chance to do. But God bless you all. Uh, I just can't tell you how this touches my heart that we had almost 200 people show up and pay money that's gonna be going to the ranches. I do wanna thank one more time, Sheriff Donald Valenza, his staff is awesome, and they do a wonderful job. You guys are so blessed in this county to have Sheriff Donald Valenza. 
who is a proud member of our board of directors at the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranches. Y'all have fun today. I want to turn it over to David here for a second, and then we'll get, get us going and uh, get all the rules here in a minute. First off, thank y'all for coming out. Um, Director Mike Smith, uh, on behalf of Houston County Sheriff's Office and the Wiregrass community, uh, the generosity was just unreal, but we want to present you with the check for the proceeds of today's tournament, which is $67,215, which is just an, a huge amount for a golf tournament put together like this, and we are we are proud as a community to give that to the room. I don't know what to say to that. That that's a good start of getting us a ranch down here, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll make that happen. Um, before we go, and I know we want to get to the rules and everything, and everybody's anxious about playing, but like in the tradition of the ranches and and what we do, I told you with our kids, if you don't remind moving your lids, and uh, we'll have a prayer, and then we'll get things started. I'll hand it over to the pro to go over the rules and all the things that we probably won't follow always, but we will. We'll try. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing all of these folks together to help our needy young people here in Alabama. God, be with the Sheriff's Department for all they do for us. It's so amazing that you shine the light on us. Give us this beautiful weather today so that we can out here, not only can we have fun, but we can know that it's going to a good cause. Please be with our first responders that can't be with us today and the many that are here today we cannot do without our first responders and our military folks freedom's not free we appreciate you giving us our military so that we can be a part of your beautiful world in this capacity be with us now as we go out and we have fun representing sheriff donald valenza and his group and helping the young people of alabama with alabama sheriff's youth ranches when we finish up today please get us home safe to our families in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Well, you know, we have, we do, right now we don't we don't have a foundation uh, in place. And we decided, you know, we would like to more or less have it going to a charity for a good cause. Because we really, I mean, of course, yes, we could always use it in our budget. But we wanted to do it for charity. Uh, we wanted to help our local and and you know, in the ranches, just so happens my first sheriff, Sheriff A.B. Clark, was one of the first sheriffs that helped start the ranches back in '66. And uh, so I thought it'd be very appropriate for us to support the ranches. And then again, I, I was elected uh, president for the Alabama Sheriff Association 2024, and I'm on the board with the youth ranches this year. So uh, I couldn't think of a better, a better chatter. To, uh, to work it for. Just talk to me about, you know, you said you've maxed out this year. You clearly have a massive crowd. How cool is it to see, you know, you talk about wanting to do it with charity. How cool is it to see so many people wanting to support charity as well? Well, we haven't, uh, um, when we say max out, there, there's tournaments all just about all year round here at Highland Oaks. And a max out is uh, 50 teams, uh, they have 50 cars and I think it's 200 players. And very few actually back, there's two big tournaments, Medical Center and CAC. And they've been doing it so long, they maxed out. Well, this was our second year and we've been very fortunate, we maxed out. And I, I just think it's a great response from the public. Uh, thank them, thank y'all for supporting the Sheriff's Office for us to be able to hold these events. And is this something, I know you said you did it last year with the Miracle Field, you said this year with the ranch, is this something that maybe in the future you're looking to highlight different charities in Alabama with? Yes, we, uh, I'll get with my, my admin, the one, the captain that helped originate this and start it, and uh, we'll pick a charity next year and go forward with it and see which one we need to try to raise some money for. that you have to be able to help 
and the impact that this charity and the money and the proceeds going to the kids, this, the, the impact that all of that has on them? Well, it, it, it's a very, very exciting feeling to know we have the support of our people and our community that support the sheriff's office for us to be able to hold these events. I mean, they, some of these guys, I'm sure they play in multiple tournaments each year, but they all wanted to get in this because we had to put a cutoff because of the number of teams. And uh, so we're just very excited that the public is really supporting us uh, in this event. All right, well, I have only one more question. Yes, sir. Are you gonna come to first place? You know, how are we looking? How's the golf swing looking? Well, I started my 46th year with the Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I'm gonna make money playing golf, so I'm not gonna, let's just say, I'm gonna keep my full-time job. <laughs> so your, your shooting is better than your golfing. Do what? Your shooting is better than your golfing. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, golfing can, can humble you quickly, <laughs> quickly. <laughs>